Hey, how can you sell in this kind of thing to my son? He's only 14 years old, okay? And I gotta tell you something. It's hard enough to teach a young man how to respect the women. And I look at this kind of crap. I gotta tell you something. I am not buying nothing from your store until you stop selling this kind of thing. You got that? You got that? Huh? Are, are you done? Because I didn't sell that to your kid, lady, okay? And even if I did, it's not my problem because he's your kid. Why is he buying stuff that you don't know about? I mean, it's your responsibility, not mine. What do you want me to do? You want me to get the manager? Just get the manager. Okay, because yes. somebody the manager. Manager. doesn't know what they're doing. Okay, well, I'll get the manager, but she's told us she doesn't really want us bothering her with stupid stuff while she's working. <gasps> but, you know, I'll go get the manager just <gasps> for you, okay? Ah! I don't like that kind of attitude. You got that? What's it? Hey, 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 where are you going? Hey, how can you sell this kind of trash to my son who's only 14 years old, okay? I don't want him reading that, this kind of thing, and I'll tell you why. Because it's already hard to get him to respect women, and then he sells and looks at this kind of trash, and you guys sell this to him? I'm going to tell you something. I'm not buying one more thing from your store until you stop selling this kind of stuff. Oh, I, I'm really sorry to upset you so much. I can see that you were really surprised that he purchased these books here. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'd like to talk to you about it a little more. Can I Can I have you sit down with me over here? I just don't understand how you can do that. How you can sell that kind of stuff to a 14-year-old? Well, I, I'd like to explain to you a little bit about how we, what our policy is about controversial materials. Would you, if you'd like to hear it? Okay, but I'm really interested to see how you are going to get out of this mess. Well. First of all, I just want to tell you that we really value you as a customer here, and I would be really sorry if I found out that you decided to stop shopping here. Hmm. I'd like to talk to you about that a little further, if you'd like to hear it. Okay. Okay. Well, as you know, we carry books for a wide range of people that come and buy books from us here. And we know that a lot of them are going to be inappropriate for a lot of other people, whether they're adults or children. We also feel that it's important for our customers to be the ones who make the choice about that. And we're happy to give our opinion if people ask us. But we feel it's very important that we let our customers have privacy about the books that they buy and the books that they read. Well, that's all fine and good. but. I don't want my kid reading this trash. Oh, I completely understand. I really respect that you are trying to pay attention to the books that your child reads and that whether they're inappropriate, whether you consider them inappropriate. Mm -hmm. How about this? I'm going to refund these books. Mm -hmm. You know, I really appreciate you coming and talking to me. I mean, I think that must be very hard to do. You can say that again. Okay, I got something. Cookies? I just happen to have. This is a store statement that we have that explains a little bit more about how we make decisions like this. If you want, you're welcome to take it and take a look at it later. All right. Uh, I'm not saying I'm agreeing with you, but I'll read it because i got to think about it some more. I I'm still don't want him to read this trash. Oh, absolutely. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And forget what I said before. This isn't hasta la vista, maybe. This is just, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Gracias. Excuse me, Miss, do you work here? I need some attention, please. I, I can see that. Nice shoes. I need some help to find some books. What do you have by uh, Milton Friedman? Who? Milton Friedman. He was an economist, Nobel Prize winner. We don't got him. We don't got him. We don't got him. How about Adam Smith or George Will? George Will. George Will. Yeah, actually, I think we have some of his baseball books in the back. 
Don't you have any political books by conservative authors? Not one. Not one. And why not? Because they suck. They promote war. They pollute the environment. They subjugate women. And they give me a headache. Young lady, a bookstore is supposed to provide material that covers both sides of most subjects. But a bookstore is about discussion and conversation about such subjects. The job of a bookstore, sir, sir, is to sell books. And I'm not about to move Christopher Finan off the shelves. So you can have your Ann Coulter trash. That's censorship. That's not censorship. You can go right outside and buy it on Amazon.com or Borders. We're just not going to have him here. I will walk right outside that door because I'll be damned. I would buy a book in here for the last door on earth. We'll try to get by. Have a nice night.